What's good? It's us for Power Man. Today I got another PvP build for y'all. So this is the ultimate balanced PvP build right here, man. We balance with crit chance, so we balance with crit damage, and we balance with armor and weapon damage. So we got three reds, three blues, 1.3 million armor. We got unbreakable and versatile on the pieces. So further ado, let's get into the build and check it out, man. Alright, for me, I run a sharpshooter. Y'all can actually run whatever you want with this build. I'm running sharpshooter. I run sharpshooter because you get 15% increased weapon stability. And with my FAMOS, I like to shoot like a beam with it. So if I see a target or a rifleman, he's peeking out of cover trying to snipe me real quick, I should be able to beam him with my FAMOS right in that little corner to take him out. And that's why I go with increased stability. Alright, with the armor kits, when you use an armor kit, you repair 100% and it removes all status effects and increases your resistance to bleed, poison, and burn for 20 seconds. 
All right, so let's say you get hit by the fire holster and you take some damage. You're ready to pop a mat kit. You pop that mat kit with the firewall, you're still going to be on burn. So with this, if you pop the mad kit, it'll completely remove the burn status and let you get right back in the fight. That's what's so good about it. But alright, let's get into the gear. I'm running the Tactical Vector SBR. Y'all know this is one of my favorite SMGs. I run this on almost every PvP build. We got 12 SMG damage, 21 crit hit chance. We got 10% damage to target out of cover, and we got measured. The top half of the magazine has 20% rate of fire and minus 30% weapon damage. The bottom half of the magazine has minus 20% rate of fire and 30% total weapon damage. It's been times where I just fired the bottom half of the clip at somebody and they just dropped from the bottom half of the clip. That 30% total weapon damage along with versatile and along with 188 critical hit damage is like devastating and it'll completely destroy your target. So measure this really good on the SMG. But all right, let's get into the FAMAS. We got 73.9K total damage. We got 15 assault rifle damage, 13 health damage. We got 10% damage to target out of cover, and we got strain. Gain 10% critical hit damage for every 0 0.5 seconds you are firing stacks up to five times. So the longer you fire, the more critical hit damage you'll gain, and critical strain works real good with uh, critical hit damage builds. All right. We got three piece providence for the 10 headshot, the 10 critical hit chance, and the 15 critical hit damage. On this mask, we got max armor. We got 10.5 critical hit damage, six critical hit chance, and we got a 12 critical hit damage mod. All right, on the chest piece, we got two piece Sokolov. We got 10% SMG damage, 15 critical hit damage. We got 15 weapon damage, 4.7 headshot, 12 critical hit damage, and we got a 12 critical hit damage mod. And we also got unbreakable. When your armor is depleted, repair 95% of your armor. All right, on the Providence holster, we got max armor. We got 11.6 critical hit damage, and we got six critical hit chance. So on these Providence pieces, like y'all see how this piece came? They came with 11.6 critical hit damage and six critical hit chance, and I was able to roll the armor. So in order to find these pieces like that, you gotta have them already come with a decent amount of critical hit damage and a decent amount of critical hit chance and you just roll the weapon damage into armor to give you more survivability I, that's what I also been doing on a couple of my PvP builds alright just like on this one the overlord armaments I was lucky enough to have this one come with 11.1 .1 critical hit damage and I was able to roll the armor up here and I also tested Grupo right here and I actually lost a decent amount of damage. So Overlord Armaments is still best in slot when it comes to the knee pads. Because that 8% damage to target out of cover is just, you know, it's multiplicative. It gives you a good amount of damage. So that's why I run with Overlords instead of Grupo right there. And the Sokolov uh, gloves, we got 15 weapon damage, 10.1 critical hit damage, and 6 critical hit chance. And if you want to switch this into an AR build real quick, all you have to do is switch the chest piece with a femoris and change the glove into a grupo. And then you can have a quick AR build, you'll just have less SMG damage. But I rock SMG damage because I got versatile on the backpack. Alright, the last piece of providence, we got 15 weapon damage, 4 critical hit chance, 12 critical hit damage, and we got an 11.9 critical hit damage mod. And you already know we run in versatile in the backpack. We get 35% amplified damage to shotguns and SMGs. So with this build, you're basically just going to be running up and swapping to your SMG and burn it down. When you're at a distance, you can swap into your FAMAS or whatever AR you decide to use and you'll still get 10% amplified damage when you're 15 meters to 25 meters close to your opponent so you can still get weapon damage when you're not close up you should be swapping to your FAMAS and then when your target moves closer into you because you're shooting because you're shooting at a distance you swap into your SMG and you burn them down with that but alright we got the jammer we just want to jam hives seekers defender drones if somebody run up on you with their defender drone you hit the jam pull your defender drone out burn them down 
All right, we got the Defender Drone just for a little bit more survivability to back us up. We got three blues. We got 1.3 million armor. We got Unbreakable and defend the Defender Drone to back us up a little bit more. All right, but let's get into the stats. We got 76k weapon damage, 33k PvP weapon damage. We got 60 critical hit chance, 188.2 critical hit damage, 84 headshot. And real quick, I'm going to switch into the FAMAS stats so y'all can see that. We got 52 critical hit chance with the FAMAS, 178.2 critical hit damage. And let's get into the weapon damage. We got 55 all weapon damage bonus, 25 rifle damage bonus, 15 assault rifle damage bonus. And we got 25 submachine gun damage bonus. And yeah, that's basically the build, man. This build has a good survivability. It puts out great damage, great damage. If you get this build fully maxed out, you will not have any problems with anything besides status effects. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for stopping by. I appreciate everybody that's been subscribing, liking. I'm truly grateful, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate you guys. Deuces.